It's a land of spectacular contrasts. Typical Sahelian landscapes in the north, tropical forests in the south, and bordered by the Atlantic Ocean to the west. Senegal boasts a vibrant modern culture and a sound economy that is one of the largest in the region. But economic success is a double-edged sword. An increasing number of Senegalese are drawn to urban centers, chasing the mirage of boundless opportunity and prosperity. Rapid urbanization leaves many economic migrants unemployed and living in informal settlements with only the barest of amenities. This poses a daunting challenge to the government and local authorities to cater to the water and sanitation needs of the ever-growing population of urban poor. UN Habitat, under the Water for African Cities program, is working to counter these challenges by pursuing the Millennium Development Goals related to water and sanitation. The main strategic uh, implementation focus is on demonstrating uh, uh, pilot uh, activities in the country and using that as a learning uh, tool where we feed into bigger scale projects and that uh, we do with the African Development Bank. In Senegal, Water for African Cities has partnered with the government through the National Water Supply and Sanitation Programme Action Plan, whose French acronym is PEPAM. For sanitation, we have many challenges. The rate of access is growing, but uh, the pace is not enough to meet the MDGs. We have first uh, a problem of availability of funds because uh, sanitation needs uh, to provide facilities to households. The second problem we have is the financial capacity of population. Even if the level of subsidies is very high, you need a participation of population, and population are poor and uh, are not uh, prioritizing sanitation uh, with regard to water and other, other, other issues. Perched on the tip of the Cape Verde Peninsula, Dakar is the westernmost point of mainland Africa and the capital of Senegal. Ngor Municipality is a commune in the western part of Dakar. Here, low-income settlements on the shores of the Atlantic Ocean stretch right down to the water's edge. Prior to this intervention, most of the households in the area were not connected to the main's water supply or to the main sewer. Water for African Cities facilitated the construction of a 1.3 km small bore sewage system to give the unserved community access to an improved wastewater collection and treatment facility. We needed two stations to enable us collect the wastewater and drain it into the main sewer system. We have many drain pipes from homes leading to the sea, and this affects the quality of seawater in terms of nutrition because people eat seafood. It's really about people's health. The program identified 15 households with very low incomes and supported the families by installing water supply and sewage drains. These households serve as demonstration units that will be replicated throughout the community with the help of microcredit facilities. Before this project, we would just dig a hole and use it to dispose of waste water. When the hole was full, we would put it in buckets and throw it into the sea. It was very hard work. When the project came, we registered ourselves. Now we have all these new facilities. Wastewater from Seinabu Suarez House and other domestic connections like it drains into the new sewage system, which leads to two main decantation chambers. From here, the wastewater is pumped uphill to the main sewage line and the national grid. Working with Senegal's Office for National Sanitation, ONAS, the Water for African Cities program has constructed six public toilet blocks within the area. Similar facilities have been constructed in Malika and Kermasar districts of Dakar. 
The Water for African Cities program is working towards creating a new water use ethic among school children and by extension the community at large. This is being done through an innovative school and community curriculum called Value-Based Water Education. 110 teachers and 35 school inspectors have been trained to implement this component of the program in Senegal. Through this program, we have first of all trained the trainers themselves, that is the inspectors, and secondly, we had to train the teachers and finally sensitize the parents. The children became vectors of information for their families. The habits they learned at school, they took back home to their families and neighborhood, and that is what we were aiming at. Mangier Toi School in Dakar faced water supply and sanitation problems for nearly 10 years. Water for African Cities came in to address these challenges through the construction of a new sanitation block for the school. Due to rapid growth of Africa's cities and socio-economic development, the pressure on the limited fresh water resources has increased considerably due to growing demand and misuse of the catchment areas. Urban catchment management seeks to protect and secure the quality and quantity of water resources. In northern Senegal, in the St. Louis region, Water for African Cities is working around the Lac de Guerre. The lake is a chief source of fresh water for the city of Dakar, the capital of Senegal, which lies hundreds of kilometers to the southwest. Thirty villages stand on the shores of the lake and increased human activity threatens the natural ecosystem. Here in the village of Diokor Il, on the banks of Lac de Guerre, a microcredit scheme has been put in place to help poor people access credit to build their own household sanitation facilities. We knew about this project through the awareness campaign. We went and got credit from the microcredit institution. We paid 22,000 CFA over nine months. We paid little by little, and now we have finished paying. Before we had this facility, we used to go into the bushes to bath and for our toilet needs. The project has also supported the construction of washing bays in the village to properly drain and filter wastewater. Before the program, this water would find its way directly into the lake. Part of the program strategy is to develop a water quality monitoring program around Lac de Guerre. A great deal has been achieved in the Water for African Cities program. But all these initiatives would be ineffective without an element of community education on water-related issues. Gita Wad is a women's group leader in Teme village, close to Lac de Guerre. She uses any opportunity she can to speak to the community about good hygiene and water catchment management. Our village is prone to cystosomiasis, so when people relieve themselves in the lake, it creates a cycle of sickness. Now that we have new toilets, I use tools from my training to teach the population, and women especially, about hygiene matters and also how to maintain the new facilities. As African cities increasingly serve as engines of growth, the continent's population will continue to migrate to urban centers. The demands on governments to provide adequate sanitation and water supply will keep rising. Initiatives like the Water for African Cities program play a vital role in bridging the demand gap. But the real value of demonstration projects such as this lies in the capacity of governments and local authorities to upscale and replicate them. This will ensure sustainable access to proper sanitation and safe drinking water for Africa's urban poor, making a tangible impact on their lives and serving as a stepping stone to a brighter future.